let's take a look at this one. So I'm going to take a minus lambda i, and I want to know for what lambdas is going to make this a singular matrix. So this is going to be 6 minus 3, 6 minus 3, this is 2 by 2. So I get something in that form. So let's see, I want the determinant of, I've got 6 minus lambda times 1, 6 minus 0, minus 3 minus 0, and this is going to be minus 3 minus lambda. That determinant has to be 0. So if I go down that direction, I'm going to get 6 minus lambda, minus 3 minus lambda. If I go across that direction, I'm going to have minus 6 times minus 3 has to be 0. All right, let's, now we've got the algebra we've got to work out here. So I don't see any clever things to do to factor. I'm just going to grind it out. So I'm going to foil this. I've got minus 18. This is going to be minus 6 lambda. So this is going to be plus 3 lambda plus lambda squared. Is that correct? 6 minus 3 minus lambda times minus 3. 6 times minus lambda minus lambda squared. It's going to be minus a minus 18. So let's see. So that cancels with that. I have a lambda squared from here. And this is going to be minus 3 lambda is 0. <coughs> okay. Once I get down to here, I have a lot of options. I could use the quadratic equation. I could try to factor things or pull things out. Um, if you look at this and you're not sure, just use the quadratic equation and go on. Right now I can immediately look at this though and notice I've got a lambda here and a lambda there. So let me factor out a lambda. Oops. And I can immediately see that I can factor it like that. So I got it lucky. If you didn't see that, that's fine. Just use the quadratic equation. So what does this say? This says lambda equals 0. or lambda equals 3. So if I'm taking the product of two things, I can either be that be 0 or that be 0. So if that second thing is 0, that means lambda is 3. If the first thing is 0, that means lambda has to be 0. Okay, so those are my two choices. So I'm going to just say lambda 1 is... Let me, I'm going to do the 3 first. And you'll see why. And lambda 2 is 0. Okay, that's just an arbitrary ordering. It's just the way I want to do it. Okay, so what do I have? I've got lambda 1 is 3, lambda 2 is 0, and I want to find the eigenspaces associated with lambda 1 and, and lambda 2. And again, I've got 6 minus 3, 6 minus 3, minus lambda, 1, 0, 0, 1. So for the case of lambda 1 is 3, I've got 6 minus, so minus 3, lambda is 3, that is left alone, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. So I'm looking for V1, it's going to give me 0. Let me clean this up. So 6 minus 3 is 3, 6. Minus 3, I'll leave alone. Minus 3, minus 3 is minus 6. I don't know what V1 is, so let me just call it XY. And it has to be 0, 0. Let me put it in an augmented matrix. So I've got 3, 6, 0. Minus 3, minus 6, 0. Again, I don't really need the zeros, but I'm just keeping it in here uh, for fun. That's my pivot. I want to get zeros there. So I'm going to take row 1 plus row 2. And what does that lead to? That leads to, I leave the first row alone. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. 
6 plus minus 6 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0. Again, I've got infinite solutions. If you don't have a, a consistent system here with infinite solutions, you did something wrong. This says 3x plus 6y is 0. And what was my pivot? My pivot was x. So 3x equals minus 6y, or x equals minus 2y. So v1 is the set of vectors in the form of xy. x is minus 2y. There's no pivot associated with y, so I leave it be. So v1 is any vector that I can write, if I factor out the y, as minus 2, 1. So my eigenspace is going to be all factors of minus 2, 1. Let's go for this case, lambda 2 equals 0. So I'm going to have 6 minus 0. I'm going to have 6 minus 0. Minus 3 minus 0. Minus 3 minus 0 times 1, so that's a minus 3. Times v2 is 0. All right, and there's nothing to clean up here. So let me just go ahead and put this in an augmented matrix. And let's see. This is my pivot. I want to get a 0 there. So I'm going to take row 2 plus 1 half row 1. And what do I get? I'm going to get top row is left alone. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. 0 plus 0. Okay, now down. Has this thing reduced to echelon form? I get 6x plus 6y is 0. x was my pivot. So I get x equals minus y. So v2 is the set of vectors in the form of xy. x is minus y. y has no pivot. If I factor out the y, I get that. So the associated eigenspace is any uh, vector that looks like a constant times minus 1, 1. Now notice, what does this mean that I have an eigenvalue of 0? If I have an eigenvalue of 0, that means that these columns are linearly uh, dependent, which means my original matrix cannot be inverted. So that's a singular matrix. So anytime I have an eigenvalue of 0, that means I can find a non-trivial solution to a times v equals 0. And therefore, the only way that can happen is that if the null space is the non-trivial set, which means that a cannot be inverted. All right. All right, so let's go big. So in this case, I'm going to have a minus lambda i it's a 3 by 3 so the identity matrix in R3 is going to be 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 I want the determinant of 7 minus lambda so I'm going to have 7 minus lambda times 1 here I'm going to have minus 18 minus 0. This is going to be 9 minus 0. Now I'm going to have 3 minus 0. I have minus 8 minus lambda times 1. 3 minus 0. 0 minus 0. 0 minus 0. And finally, minus 2 minus lambda. So I'm going to subtract lambda off all the diagonal entries. I want to find the magical value of lambda so that this matrix is singular. 
So the determinant is zero. Okay, I could brute force this and do a cofactor expansion across the dot. Or I could go down the column. First column would actually be better because there's a zero there if I did that. But notice I've got two zeros in this row. So I'm going to go plus, minus, plus. I'm going to use cofactor expansion around the bottom row. That's going to make my life easier. So this is going to be zero times. So the determinant of this, if I get rid of that column and that row, I've got minus 18, 9, minus 8, minus lambda, 3. So that's plus. Minus zero, oops, times the determinant. So now I'm going to get rid of that column and that row. So seven minus lambda, three, nine, three. And then finally, plus minus two minus lambda times the determinant. If I get rid of that column and that row, 7 minus lambda, minus 18, 3, minus 8, minus lambda. All right, and now in doing that, I have 0 times that. That's 0. 0 times that is 0. So I'm only left with that. And what do I have now? I've got minus 2 minus lambda times, so that's going to be, 7 minus lambda, minus 8 minus lambda, minus, going across that way, so minus 3 times minus 18 has to be 0. So let's expand that out. So this is going to be 7 times minus 8. Minus lambda times minus 8 is plus 8 lambda. 7 times minus lambda minus lambda times minus lambda. So I took this term and I foiled it out to get that expression. And this is going to be minus a minus. So that's going to be, what, 454. So I have 0 equals minus 2 minus lambda. So I've got lambda squared. It's going to be 8 lambda minus 7 lambda is plus lambda. Minus 56 plus 54 is minus 2. <clears throat> All right. I'm very fortunate because I've got something times something. I could expand this out, but I really want to factor this. I just want to figure out where is this thing 0. So notice this immediately says either this is 0 or this is 0. So I really don't need to expand this out because I just end up trying to factor again. So, and also I'm looking at this and I can immediately see that I can factor that. Again, if you can't see how to factor this, don't worry about it. Just take this thing and use the quadratic formula. But in this case, this is going to be what? Lambda plus 2 and lambda minus 1. So what do I have? I have either this is 0. or this is 0, or this is 0. So this says, this says that lambda is minus 2, lambda is minus 2, or lambda equals 1. So notice I've got a repeat here. So I really, in this case, I've only got two eigenvalues. I could have three, but I only got two. I'm going to just arbitrarily decide lambda 1 is 1, and lambda 2 is minus 2. And what we say here is that the multiplicity of this eigenvalue is 2. So what's going to happen is i got to be a little bit more careful in doing this. So I'm going to do this one first, then do this one, because it's going to get a little more complicated in, in terms of how I interpret this one. So try to do the f easier one first. So I've got 1 and minus 2. 